On this episode, we're going to be talking about a custom belt that we manufacture for our client with a Masonic twist to it. Howdy! Welcome back to Beaver Mountain Works, and we're happy to have you here. We haven't seen a lot of you folks. We're over a thousand subscribers. Thank you very much for all the support you've given us. On this particular video, um, we're hoping that if you aren't a subscriber, you subscribe. Just and hit the bell. bell. Yes, the bell. Where's that bell at? I got a bell over here, right? Ah, reach for it. That one. Yeah, that works. <laughs> you see the messy shop we have here. We're always busy here. Too many people working in this place. So, getting back to the subject at hand, we have a particular client uh, from a beautiful part of British Columbia who has come here and he wants to have a belt made for one of his Masonic brothers. Um, he asked me if I had a stamp, which years ago I used to have one through Tandy Leather, um, but it disappeared. And he wanted me to produce a gun belt for this individual with uh, 45 ACP cartridges. Uh, he already has a holster. And we wanted to have some type of uh, symbol from their organization on there. So we went. I went searching around on the internet and came across a uh, website, Masonic Supplies, .ca or something like that it is and um, we found these really cool coins these Masonic coins and you can see on them that it has all their emblems and all their information it's an official site for the Masonic uh, lodges and on the back uh, we ended up making them into conchos and they actually have a thing where they'll engrave the the uh, the member and, and when they when the brother and became Masonic member um, but we had to produce them into conchos because he wanted to have them on the belt and and there's two sets of loops there's one on one side and another on the other side and you'll see it when it's all on the belt at the end but uh, for 45 ACP and we've created those uh, once they get put on they'll get cemented on so they don't shift and turn but uh, see that little special piece and in my days of when I was serving these are little units that used to be in our Kelvar helmets that held on the, the headband the hat the head uh, net inside your helmet I had had a whole bunch of extras I don't know where they came from but they happened to be in my old kit and they work real good for that so the first thing we're going to do here is um, we made up a template I did that for here it's a little bit larger you had to make it so that way it fit into the um, fit into the conchos here. You can see that that there's a bit of a gap here, as you can see on this particular unit right here. And uh, we're going to—they're partially countersunk. If you kind of see there, how they have a little bit of countersinking to them. It's not right off sharp when I have it pressed down. It be pulled down. It doesn't have a full lip, and you can see the full lip there. Are <laughs> so we've got her done here she is I was gonna have you while I was assembling it but I assembled it faster my videographer could come down here to a video as you can see here here's the finished product and uh, if things like this tickle your fancy something like this you're looking at you have some kind of a dream or a thought and you give us a shout here. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. And thanks for watching. And y'all take care now. BeavermountWorks.com. <laughs>